Hi, everyone. Good morning. Happy Friday. Um, here today, we're going to be um, talking about and meditating on the fourth foundation of mindfulness. And that is mindfulness of phenomena, sometimes also known as mindfulness of the dhammas or the dharmas. And this particular uh, piece of the four foundations of mindfulness can get kind of uh, confusing because there are many, many, many components of it. Um, so I'm going to just talk about it a little bit um, just so you kind of get an idea of what the history of that is. And then, um, but then we'll do a simple practice. So like I always say, if uh, you're new here, you're welcome. If you've been here for a while, um, really, it's wonderful to have you again. And uh, even if you have no experience, um, we'll try to do my best to make this meditation feel, uh, practice feel approachable and um, and doable. So it doesn't feel like you've missed out on on much. So yeah, so just reviewing really quickly the four foundations of mindfulness that we've covered already, the three that we've covered are mindfulness of body, including the, the breathing. So there are two practices there that we technically or um, typically do or introduce, which are the body scan and awareness of breath, where we just, uh, this is the one that people are usually maybe more or most familiar with when they hear about meditation is the paying attention to your breath and when your mind wanders off you come back um basic practice but we come back to it doesn't matter how many years you've been meditating it's the, still the basic come back to um so there's mindfulness of body and then there's mindfulness of feeling tone um and that's where we begin to realize that uh experiences happen um with this awareness of our body experiences arise that are either pleasant or unpleasant or neither pleasant or unpleasant or neutral. And this is a uh, kind of, like we said before, the primary colors of feeling. And so it's just noticing, it doesn't matter if it's an emotion or a physical sensation, how am I responding to it? Um, does my, uh, in my awareness, does it hit me as something that's pleasant or acceptable? Or when it, I first notice this, whatever it is, it could be a sensation again, or an emotion. Do I perceive it as unpleasant? Or do I not perceive it at all? Or is it just neutral? Neither one. And then we explored the uh, foundation of mindfulness of mind, which is kind of a fun one to start noticing our, our thoughts, but also our emotions in there. And so when we do mindfulness of feeling tone, we notice if it's pleasant or unpleasant. Then when we get to mindfulness of mind, then we realize that when we get to sadness or happiness that there is not only a pleasant or an unpleasant but there is a um a set of of thoughts and ways that we relate to that experience um and so that's mindfulness of mind and then this week mindfulness of phenomena then is really paring down how do we respond to what arises within our field of perception or awareness. And as I said, there are lots and lots of ways at looking um, of looking at that and parsing that apart. Just like um, inside a person are molecules and then there are atoms and then the atoms are made up of electrons and neutrons and protons. And then those are made up of I don't even know, like quarks and uh, those kinds of things. So it goes on and on and on. And so the mindfulness of Dhamma is just, or phenomena is, um, is really the chance uh, to sort of get really 
um, minute about all the things, all the ways that we are uh, perceiving or interacting with our environment, either external or internal. So we could go on and on about that, but <laughs> how we're gonna make it simple for today is um, I thought it would be really nice to do a meditation on um, mindfulness of sense perception. So we have, I'm just gonna go through them. This is like a first grade thing, but kind of interesting in this um, context. We have eyes. So the eyes, um, their action is sight and there can't be sight or sorry, um, there is sight and then there's an image that relates to that sight. So the eyes see and they see something. The ears hear and they hear something. The nose smells and it smells something. The tongue tastes and it tastes something. The skin feels sensation, sensation of something, some sensation of pressure or clothing or temperature. And in uh, Buddhism, in, in Eastern thought, we actually have a sixth sense, which is not ESP, in case you're wondering, um, but actually the mind is considered a sense also. So the mind produces thoughts and then the object of those thoughts then is the, uh, the sense organ meeting an object. So what we'll do today um, is we're going to just break this down in a very simple way. And we're going to go, we're going to go through um, the three of the senses. It's um, a little bit difficult to meditate on taste unless you're doing a food tasting or something, um, which maybe we should do sometime. That'd be fun. But for today, we're going to um, pay attention to our soundscape. So the ears and the sound and the object of hearing, what do we hear? Sight, the eyes, the sight, and then whatever is being seen. And then the skin and touching and whatever the, the sensation on the skin is. So I'll lead us in a little meditation about all three of those levels of mindfulness. And I encourage you to um, just play along. <laughs> and if it becomes cumbersome or it's just not doing it for you today, that's perfectly fine. If you can stay present with us in our group, um, that would be lovely but do what works for you. So if it works better for you to simply come back to the breath, breathe, notice the breathing, notice when the mind wanders and then come back to awareness of the breath. That is absolutely 100% fine. So I'll lead the meditation and um, you can make it your own. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and start by finding our comfortable place to sit. This can be on the floor, on a cushion, on a chair. Um, you can be leaning back if you need to. You can even be lying down if that's better. If you choose to um, sit up I particularly like to sit when I'm meditating just in a way where I'm feeling the strength of my spine um, because I find that that facilitates easier breathing and it also facilitates uh, being awake. Um, body scans are really nice to, to do body scan or lying down is really nice um, for body scan, but in inevitably I often fall asleep. So Anyway, whatever works for you. So I'm just going to be coming where my um, spine feels strong, where my breath is really easy and open and accessible. 
And wherever you are, just beginning to notice the quality of your breathing. And taking a moment to come into that stillness where for this moment it's just you breathing, sitting and breathing, breathing and being. It's as simple as that. And also wherever you are, however your body is positioned, taking a moment to notice the body, notice its weight, its heaviness, and how that weight meets the force of gravity and causes us to hold fast to the earth. Bring your awareness to the places where your body makes contact with your chair, your cushion, another surface. So here we are, our body and our breath breathing and being. First foundation of mindfulness is mindfulness of the body. And then as you become aware of your body and breathing, when you'll begin to notice that thoughts come and go, that's perfectly natural as well as inevitable. And so when you realize that you've been thinking, just bringing that awareness back to the breath and then begin to notice in your field of awareness with your body and your breath, when you notice something in the body or the breath or the thinking, just begin to notice, well, was that pleasant or was that unpleasant? Was it neither one? I don't even know how to label. It's not pleasant, it's not unpleasant. So whether it's the temperature on your skin, sensation of clothing, maybe feeling bored or something about breathing, just noticing what comes up that's either pleasant or unpleasant. It's mindfulness of feeling tone. And you may already notice just five minutes into this meditation that you are probably have already experienced a thought or maybe two. And so aware of thoughts, this is my mind thinking. The third foundation of mindfulness is mindfulness of the mind. And so for the fourth foundation then, mindfulness of sense perception, we'll begin with the ears and hearing. And so the invitation here is to bring the awareness now from being focused on either the body, the breath, or pleasant, unpleasant, or thoughts, and just turn the radio down, turn the volume down on those 
awareness is and see if you can really turn your awareness toward your ears and hearing, the soundscape we sometimes call it. What is it like to just sit and hear? And then invite yourself to experience the hearing as just raw data, meaning the best you can. Take it for what it is without feeling a need or an urge to label. Oh, that's a bird. That's the air conditioning. Instead, just be aware again of the raw data, the sound as it is. And then taking a moment to draw that sense of hearing, that awareness back close so that you can easily turn down the volume now on awareness of hearing. And then explore what it's like to shift that awareness down now to awareness of sensation so the skin senses sensation and so now just for the next few moments sensations coming from the inside of the body sensations coming from the outside bringing the awareness to Field the world of sensation.
this may feel a bit like a body scan, which is, is fine. It doesn't need to be sequential. It's okay to just rest with open awareness and see what arises in the field of sensation. So it may be a foot, it may be a shoulder. It doesn't need to go in order. Nothing needs to be manipulated here. Just that open awareness. Last one that we'll explore will be mindfulness of smelling. So shifting your awareness now, still be aware of your body, but again, turning the volume down on just being aware of sensation and see if you can really bring that field of awareness really close so that you open up this field of smelling as if this was the only sensory input you had in the world. Imagine what it would be like or what it could be like right here. Just bring in awareness, information, data, only through the nose, the sense of smell. Spending a few minutes with this one. So bringing all the volumes at the, to the same volume. So there's no preference of smell, taste, hearing, sensation, breath, body, but just being aware of where you are right now. 
with that maybe taking a moment to reflect on what that experience was like for you different way of being with mindfulness a different way of relating and then as you begin to kind of come back feel free to look around the room remember where you are in your own environment this is really important um, especially in these virtual spaces uh, remember who you were what it was like when you first came to sit and be with us in this community today remember where you are in your home or your office or whatever and then become more aware of our virtual community. And um, if you haven't started turning on your cameras yet, you're invited to do that if you like. And join the community of faces, smiling faces. And we take a peek into each other's worlds through that little lens of our cameras. So I'm going to um, sign off now, but I encourage you all to spend a couple minutes, if you like, with each other and uh, share any experiences you may have had, um, any questions you can um, process with each other. If you need to reach out and email me, that's fine too. And um, play with this if you'd like and have a good week i'll see you next week hopefully live um and uh yes just have a wonderful week and, and may all beings be happy and healthy may all beings be safe and free from harm may all beings live with ease thank you so much